Well, two on your side has tough questions today for both sides of the labor fight that could lead to a hospital walkout just hours from now. And good evening, everyone. I'm Scott Levin. And I'm Mary Alice Demler. This has the potential of a huge impact around Western New York because any one of us could unexpectedly need a hospital at any moment. We have team coverage tonight. Two on your side's Dave McKinley is live at the site where negotiations are still going down to the wire. But first tonight, we're going to hear from our Michael Wooten, who had the only sit down interview today with the head of Catholic Health. Michael. Yes, yeah, Scott Mary Alice, CWA and Catholic Health are at this very moment negotiating terms that would impact more than 2000 hospital workers at three different facilities. But importantly, the strike only impacts South Buffalo Mercy. If an agreement isn't reached by tonight, there could be hundreds of workers who will not show up tomorrow morning during the six o'clock shift change. Today I sat down with Catholic Health President and CEO Mark Sullivan. He is hopeful that the updated proposal delivered to the union last night will get the two sides closer to an agreement. It has pay raises, an average of almost four and a half percent for RNs, more than eight percent for some other workers. Most health insurance premiums will be unchanged, though that's not the case for all workers, so that's still a sticking point. And the new contract uh, proposal helps with staffing. The question, is it enough? Sullivan acknowledges there is a lot at stake. We've talked many times through the pandemic about the life-saving role that these healthcare workers have played as we've all dealt with COVID-19. Many times you've called them our healthcare heroes. What do you say to, to those of them who feel like I'm not being treated like a hero? Right. Well, I've said that in every interview I've done, and I think I've probably done 35 in the last year. I believe they're the healthcare heroes. There's no question about it. The challenge is now is that's getting lost. And I think that's getting lost because we're in the middle of a negotiation. But I'm confident based on the progress we've made in the last two weeks, I'm confident in the leadership from CWA. Um, they've been very vocal, very precise with us. Um, they're incredible people. And we need to make sure we recognize that and we believe we've done that in the, in the most recent offer. What should a typical Western New Yorker who's watching right now for whom South Buffalo Mercy is their community hospital and who is wondering if something happens to me and I go to the hospital, what is gonna be the impact of this strike? What would you say to that family? It's, it was in the writing from the Joint Commission last week. The workers at Mercy Hospital are outstanding, whether they're CWA represented or not. Um, there's not a caregiver there that if I needed to go to Mercy today, I would walk in there today and receive my care there. We've constricted the services to make sure that we're not inundating the hospital, um, but we also recognize that there's an, it's uncertain time now. So we're hopeful we get to a, a deal tonight. We believe the proposal we have on the table is, is helps us get there. And then hopefully tomorrow or the next day, we'll be back um, into uh, providing all the services necessary. But we don't know that. We'll have an extended portion of that interview with specific questions about those replacement workers who at this moment are at local hotels. They may be called on early tomorrow morning. That's coming up on our town hall at 530.